my friends. Uh, welcome back. It's Alexander Sebastian with another installment on Parents as Partners. And uh, today we have a topic of crucial importance to the survival of uh, the human race. And that's what's our, what our kids are doing. You know, there's a lot of talk right now about uh, the, the bees disappearing in the UK and uh, insects disappearing all over the world. But uh, the birds and the bees, uh, they're Lack of interaction isn't only in the uh, insect kingdom. We have a serious problem here, I think, uh, with our own children. I have two teenagers, one boy and one girl, and uh, they are not acting in the way that uh, my generation acted, and it is uh, disconcerting. There's, uh, I never hear them talking on phones with their kids. Okay, they're on their, um, they're texting regularly, but I never hear any. Uh, conversations on the telephone, uh, there, there's no photos in their rooms, they're not going out with uh, uh, people of the opposite sex, they seem to be hanging around in same-sex groupings most of the time, most of their conversation is about their, uh, the guys that, are, uh, that my son is hanging out with or the girls that my uh, daughter is hanging out with, and uh, uh, at their ages of uh, 16 and 17, soon to be 18, uh, I have a difficult time understanding what's going on and uh, uh, so I looked into it and uh, I'm going to share with you what I found today. You know, when I was a kid, uh, when I was a teenager, the, the important thing was you had to get a job, a part-time job. Of course, I went to high school, but I had to get a part-time job and with uh, one goal and that was to eventually buy a car uh, when you were 16. Uh, I bought my first car at 15 and a half and I couldn't even drive it legally but uh, we worked in grocery stores and different places and so once we got that car and our driver's license 16 then we had the privacy and uh, we could get the uh, go out with girls and uh, the girls seemed to like it as, as well and uh, so it was job for the money money for the car car for the girls and uh, that that's pretty much was uh, our whole uh, focus of interest at that time and it continued uh, until we got married, right? <laughs> so I'm, su I'm surprised that my kids are not uh, following this path at all. And uh, I'm wondering what the impact is going to be for the society and for ourselves. So as I said, I looked into this and uh, uh, here's, here's what I found. That uh, first of all, uh, this, this trend of uh, lack of interest in uh, people of the opposite sex uh, started in Japan and they have something in Japan I'm gonna going to read it to you it's called Seksu Shima Shikokun which translates as celibacy syndrome and uh, the statistics are rather striking I'm gonna read these to you 45% of women 16 to 24 years old report that they are not interested <coughs> in sex at all. And the same is for, the, for, for, for men, it's more than a quarter of men 16 to 24 who report no interest in the opposite sex. 61% of unmarried uh, men and 49% of women in the age bracket of 18 to 34 have no, are in no kind of a romantic relationship. And uh, I'm going, at the end of this, uh, my presentation, I'm going to give you some, I'm going to cite the sources for where you can find this information. Uh, there is a, what one, uh, what one reporter called a flight from human int intimacy. Uh, at the same time, corresponding with this flight from human int intimacy, is an increase in interest in uh, pets, especially little furry dogs. So there's a need, but they're not getting that need met by uh, people from the opposite sex. The Japanese American author Roland Kelts said that Japanese relationships will be are, will be driven by technology and take place in the virtual world. In other words. Uh, not with real people. So it, it seems that the uh, eye touch 
is really replacing the real thing. In the U.S., the trends are similar to Japan. The portion of high school students having sex has fallen below 50%. And this was, uh, so this, this is, we're talking about, you know, high school, kids graduate from high school, they're 18 years old, usually 17, 18, 19 years old. And uh, less than 50% of them are engaging in, uh, in sex. Now, this also corresponds with a decline in driver's license, interesting enough. enough. 47%, there has been a 47% decrease from 1983 to 2014 in the number of teenagers uh, 16 years old applying for their driver's license. So that's, uh, that's 30% that's, uh, less asking for the driver's license. Well, they don't need the driver's license because what, they, they don't have a car or they don't need the, the privacy uh, of a place to go with a girlfriend. So, no part-time job. So also, the, the number of teenagers who have part-time jobs has considerably de decreased. It's less than 30% now, where it used to be, back in the 70s and 80s, 58% of teenagers had part-time jobs. So, they have no part-time jobs. They don't have the, enough money for a car or for the gas. So, no car, no gas, uh, no girl. Or is it something else? Is it no need for the girl? So no need for the car? So no need for the money? So no need for the part-time job? Uh, and why is that? Well, the teenagers are spending uh, a lot more time on their computers now and in their bedrooms than they are in the aisles of grocery stores stocking those aisles to get the, get the money. So according to the statistics, Teenagers spend nine hours a day on social media and entertainment. So this is more than their parents spend working. So you can imagine what they're doing there, but they're, they're not out uh, with other people talking and, um, and socializing. So they're not developing the relationships. On this flight from intimacy, the teenagers have their laptops up and their seat belts on and they're going full, full speed ahead. And, and this is all in spite of the increase in the number of dating apps. You know, we know that there's plenty of dating apps out there, plenty of ways to meet people uh, besides the old fashioned way of uh, going to the library or joining in sports clubs. But uh, the kids aren't uh, uh, following up. If they're using the dating apps, they're not following up. So what's the effect on kids and uh, on us and uh, on society? Well, I guess uh, definitely a positive for kids is there's a, been a huge uh, decrease in the number of teen pregnancies. But this is also due to a much higher percentage of uh, teenagers using contraceptives, which is, uh, was reported to be at 87%, which in my day, well, we didn't worry too much about that. So that's one reason for this, why there's less pregnancies. But uh, I'm going to give you the site a source for you that you can follow up on. And, it, and this researcher says that kids that engage in sex have a lower level of de delinquency and better so social relations. They they're use drugs less. There's less va vandalism associated with this uh, category of kids. And they're stealing less. So. There's definitely upsides and there seems to be a correlation between uh, uh, intimate relationships and uh, social positive, socially positive behavior. There's also a marked, according to the researchers, a marked improvement in uh, happiness, reduced stress and anger. So we can see that there are definite advantages um, to children, young people, teenagers, uh, having intimate relationships in their mature teenage years. So, and what about us? Well, does that mean that I'm not going to have any grandchildren? Of course, I want my kids to be happy and I want them to do whatever they want to do, but I'm uh, looking forward to uh, grandchildren. And what's going to happen to society? Uh, the housing uh, 
who's going to be buying the houses, who's going to be working the factories. Okay, robot, the rob robotization is coming, but uh, um, where the, what's going to follow, huh? It, it's really a, um, a worldwide uh, major social problem that we need to look at here. Okay, now I'm going to give you the uh, cite the sources of that information. Uh, the first um, source that I cited is from the, the uh, Japan Family Planning Association. Uh, they brought the statistics on the um, lack of interest by uh, both men and women in intimacy. Uh, another source was the, uh, the Guardian story on the, why young people in Japan stopped having sex. You can find that in the Guardian in uh, dated 2013. Another source is the uh, Atlantic uh, in the decline of driver's license. Um, I mean, those things are important in the whole sociological setup. Huh? Professor Catherine Stanlis of Hunter College, and uh, she's the one that says that uh, uh, t uh, teenagers having sex is uh, normal and it has its benefits. The World Economic Forum also said that uh, uh, developing those soft skills that you develop in having a relationship are very helpful uh, for the economy of the future to come. And uh, those people who can only feel comfortable interfacing with a computer screen are likely to be uh, left out of the uh, upper echelons of the development of the economy in the future. There's a little tons of information in there that can support what I've been telling you in this crisis that's uh, developing, I think. But my kids, uh, they seem like happy, healthy kids, and uh, uh, I'm not complaining about them. It's just a very di difficult uh, situation for me to understand what is actually going on. Okay. Okay. This is Alexander Sebastian reporting for uh, Parents as Partners. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.